video we are going to see uh, asynchronous synchronous bridge in between uh, some third party system to sap as a idoc idoc is a synchronous communication now we will see how do we, how how do they configure uh, end to end let us see the the diagram overall diagram and you can see um, this is the testing procedure we, we are sending some soap request and we're getting the expected response and we are seeing response format is as as below this is a target side whatever you see here the number of records is only we are mapping to target and rest of the things are empty and uh, uh, the configuration ico objects the configuration as looks like it looks as below and uh, we are sending the same request to is as well as uh, uh, sending the same uh, some message to same central system again so operation mapping is one to one and uh, and uh, we are using the communication channels for uh, uh, for this system okay and ida communication channel communication for the hana system and let us see the operation mapping uh, here we are sending a request and uh, for this one we have already seen right for the for this one the response right response for uh, IDOC response you know? and uh, before that one we have uh, operation mapping is uh, uh, S on below let us see how we are using operation mapping so this we are first we are showing the so we are using two SOAP center communication channel one is uh, SOAP center one is SOAP receiver so to get the message to SOAP uh, center system again okay so for center center soap no need to configure anything for receiver so we are supposed to configure okay center communication channel is uh, if underscore cross this is the sender this is the sender option and best of all and uh, uh, the same sender uh, we advanced option we did not use anything and also see if cross okay for this one, uh, module configuration configured like this, and also we are trying to get the um, correlation ID. Same message ID we are supposed to use it. Coming to the the other SOAP communication channel, uh, to which uh, address we are supposed to send this data. That is the one we configured. User and password also we can configure. Okay, then fine. Uh, yeah, and uh, SOAP is our same second soap communication channel and what is the comma so below the using the dynamic configuration bin we are getting the message ID correlation but message ID that is uh, so in message mapping we are taking the total message mapping we are using the uh, logic to get the uh, what we call uh, system messages correlation ID okay like that we are correlating these two messages and um, notify response bin also we used it okay and so two so two soap uh, communication channels one is for sender one is for receiver i have shown you the configurations for the both soap, uh, soap, soap, soap channels and um, so this is uh, already showed you let us see again i'm showing you nothing more nothing and uh, coming to the ida communication channel you can use it comes from a communication channel Okay, next is uh, we can use the advanced options. Uh, here I'm using a Apple control records from payload. That is the thing we are used with. Okay, next thing is uh, nothing in the module configurations. So, IDOC trigger. Uh, we got the, some IDOCs in uh, my system. And uh, let us see the ESR objects. Uh, these are the below ESR objects. And uh, we used, uh, we are so. Suppose if you enter multiple IDA, multiple messages uh, corresponding the number of IDAs will be created. For that one, uh, uh, the operation uh, uh, request and response formats are below, like this. Service interfaces, uh, okay. So you can understand, as a PA developer, you can, under, you can understand everything. Okay. The main important thing here, okay. This format. This is the, the first mapping. We are we have only two mappings. 
and the both operation mapping response has a empty only nothing yet. okay that is the thing we have to remember so message id right message id uh, the response also no message mapping nothing and uh, here also nothing no response mapping okay this is the thing and this is the code for the getting message id this is the code we are using and let's see like this we achieved the test and uh, got the response uh, immediately after uh, getting a few messages here and if you see in uh, the request messages here uh, if the number of entries are more table data is are more if you see if it is more that many number of uh, items will be created for this one what i showed you right uh, the uh, the way i i configured uh, signature right signature let us see let me show you signature in signature you can find the the occurrence of the uh, Use the uh, visual file instead of IDAC uh, directly. So we uh, we loaded the IDAC as a. Uh, let me. So this is the thing we have to remember. Uh, because so the occurrence of the IDAC is one nine nine. So we saved this as in, in the in the uh, um, the actional definition. So that uh, it will multiple create multiple number of IDACs. So whenever uh, if we have multiple messages of IDACs, okay. That is the thing we have to remember.